hello. Isn't he just gorgeous? I'm sorry, but he is, seriously. Look at him. Oh, I couldn't resist. He's such a sweetheart. You know, have your dummy? Thank you. So I'm just going to give him a little feed. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely love him in this suit, this little outfit. It's just beautiful. I'm not sure this bottle gives out much. Um, much um, water, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. I don't have much anything new happening um, around, really. But um, with the, the warmer weather coming, um, it's gotten quite dry around and you know it I don't know about anybody else but for me um, I do live in quite a dry area uh, we don't get a lot of rain here well we get enough to keep us sustained I suppose unless we have a drought but um, because I just have tank water and I have to get loads of water you know I have to buy water if we run out so technically what's in our tanks is all we have so in a way I consider this area dry because um, because of that fact alone like we don't we don't really get town water or anything like that so unless we buy it and get it carted to us um but talking about the grass and things it is getting really dry now we haven't had rain for a little while and the grass is really dry being winter of course the, the grass does dry off from the cold so we did have a few frosty mornings not a lot we haven't really had a decent winter here as such so those few cold mornings with the frost, the ice, um, did play havoc with our grass. But um, I'm just, you know, you get to that stage when winter's nearly finished and, and you start thinking about gardening and, and stuff again. But then because it's so dry at the moment, you know, it's kind of like catch-22. You you really want to do it, but then you think of, you know, another factor that could um, hinder it. So that's my dilemma at the moment, whether to plant or not to plant. <laughs> Just looking at the grass, I think, geez, it's so dry. Um... But then early in the mornings when it's cool, I, I really want to get out in the garden and, you know, plant some veggies or something, you know. But then, yeah, you look at the grass and you think, mm, I don't know. So we don't really waste our tank water on grass and things like that. But we can use our grey water for our trees and our grass. So, you know, we can water if we have to but we use our grey water so that's all our used water I guess is another way of putting it <sighs> yeah so that's that's what I've been thinking about the last couple of days actually and I'm still renovating my house it's a long long process it takes time I don't pay people to come in and do it for me um, just me and some family members do it. So, yeah, it takes time. Uh, I'm actually wanting to do the back veranda at the moment. Because the, um, 
the runners underneath need replacing and so does the top boards so the floorboards also need replacing so that's what my next project is I have to go to the sawmill and order some timber but I don't know I'm, I'm thinking I don't know whether to use sawmill timber for the floorboards or use decking boards I know you know the buying from the sawmill would be cheaper because the decking boards are quite expensive but they would actually look nicer I think and then I want to put a roof on part of the veranda because it's all open at the moment it's just the floor so it's never had a roof up on there part of the back veranda actually has my um, like where the steps goes down there's a little landing and that actually has my um, what do you call it my clothesline attached to it so I don't actually walk downstairs to hang up my clothes I just walk out on the back veranda because at the back door is that's where my laundry is so I don't have to walk very far I'm, I'm going to use April's little burp cloth oh here well he was drinking he just spat up some <laughs> isn't he sweet look at that little boy oh, I just love this little man he's so beautiful and I'm so blessed that I have him in my collection in April. And actually, um, you know, I never stop looking at, at babies or never, never really have buying out of my mind. As, you know, as we all do, we all think about what our next buy might be um well most of us i guess so even though i can't can't actually get a baby at this time um i am still on the lookout you know i still like to look around see what's out there what's available and um I like to be kind of kept in the loop, I suppose, of what is out there and what's available. And, but the thing is, when you've got no money for our dolls ready at hand, um, and then you think, well, when, when you at that point where you love every baby in your collection and you just cannot see yourself parting with any of them, in order to buy another baby that's where I am at the moment I I don't see myself selling anybody in my nursery at the moment and probably never <laughs> so for me to buy another baby I need funds you know readily available and I don't have any so <laughs> you know that that's good in a way because it stops me from buying but in another way it's kind of frustrating as we all know that feeling as well when we want a baby but we can't but I am so satisfied with all of my babies um, I really don't feel the need to actually buy I just love looking so yeah oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that but that's my kids going nuts they're just crazy 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 I think they're all sugared up from the birthday cake <laughs> So that's my little man. I'm not changing him out of this. I just love him in this. He's just beautiful. Oh, do you want to snuggle to mama? Oh, my little man. Anyway, guys, I'll go, let you go. And thanks for sticking around if you have. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.